Welcome to Waddle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to quickly quote text as part of an email reply in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. I'll open an email conversation I've been having with a friend and I'll click on the large reply button to create a blank email reply. I'll add two questions that I want to quote and reply to by copying and pasting them from the original email. If you're not sure how to copy and paste in Gmail, check out the Woggle Guide shown above that explains how to do this. To turn a single word or even whole sentences into quotes, I need to first select it in the email. I can do this by moving my mouse pointer to the word I want to quote. I'll start by choosing the first question. If I move my mouse to the right of that paragraph and then click and hold my left mouse button, you'll see I can slowly drag my mouse over the full quote until it's completely selected. If I then release my left mouse button, the text stays selected. Having done that, I'll now move my mouse to the toolbar next to the send button at the bottom of the email. There are a number of options shown here, but the one we are interested in is the underlying letter A, which if I move my mouse over it, you'll see allows us to select some further formatting options. Let's click on that once. A new toolbar is then opened, which shows you a number of different ways you can amend and change the text in your emails. With the paragraph I want to quote still selected, however, I'm going to move my mouse to the apostrophe icon, which you'll see is the option to turn text into a quote. If you can't see this icon in the toolbar, it may be hidden behind the drop down arrow at the end of the bar. If I click on that and then move my mouse over the apostrophe icon, you'll see it allows you to create a quote. If I click on that once, the text we selected is not only moved slightly to the right, but a line is added to the left of the text to indicate that it is a quote. I can then type my own response to this question below the quote, and you'll see that is shown as normal text. If I quickly select the second question I chose, I'll show you another way to turn your text into a block reply quote. Whilst the text is selected, instead of using my mouse to select the quote option in Gmail, I can use my keyboard. This can be much faster and easier than using a mouse. Keyboard shortcuts need to be turned on in Gmail before you can use them. If you're not sure how to do this, check out the Wuggle guide shown above that explains how to do that. As I'm using an Apple Mac, the shortcut keys I'll use to toggle quote formatting on are Command, Shift and the number 9. And you'll see this question is now formatted as a quote, just like we saw in the first example. If you're using a Windows computer, the shortcut keys you should use to identify text as a quote are Control, Shift and 9. I hope you found this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.